a thick neck makes a man look masculine. Look closely at these pictures of men who have had their necks photoshopped. You should instantly be able to tell in which version of the pictures they look stronger and more masculine just by the thickness of their neck muscles. To me, someone with a thick neck looks like they literally have high testosterone, like they're manly, which it's a pretty good look in my opinion. So I've been working on growing my neck. How many guys do you know who directly train their necks? I personally don't know a single one. This leads to some kind of phenomenon where muscular guys who have spent years in the gym but haven't trained their necks actually look pretty skinny if you're looking at their face and necks alone. So I've got a picture here of this guy. Just look at his face and neck. How muscular do you think he would be? Just from this picture, just his face and neck. If I had to guess, Honestly, I'd say he's probably about 160 pounds, probably quite lean, decent size, probably lifting for like two, three years. He's massive. It's like he's trained all of his body's muscles apart from his neck and now it looks too small. I feel that if he had a thicker, more muscular neck, he would look better and more proportionate. And now here we've got Mike Tyson. It was actually pretty hard to crop this picture of him because of how massive this guy was. Just from the picture of his face and neck, you can tell he's muscular. It's so obvious. Even though you can't even see his body, you know his body is gonna be muscular just because you can see his neck in this picture. So if you agree, a thicker muscular neck makes you look better and that's your goal. How can we achieve it? Well, first we need to start training our necks. The easiest way to do this is just by using plates on a bench. I do some sets with the plates in my gym, hanging your neck off the bench and just essentially crunching the plate up with your forehead. Personally, I prefer using a neck harness. It allows me to get in a bunch of sets at home without having to spend extra time getting to the gym. So it's easier to efficiently sort of overload this exercise and train it with a decent amount of sets. In terms of actual training, the whole point is progressive overload, making progress over time, slightly increasing the amount of reps or weights that you do. I've had periods of neck training consistently for months at a time, so it'd be a total weekly set volume of around six to nine. I'll be honest, it hasn't really gave me great improvements. Generally, if you're going for hypertrophy, if you're trying to grow a muscle, you'd want to be pushing closer to 20. Obviously that starts getting an issue because the soreness of training your neck, it does get in the way and it does get quite annoying and I find neck training to be quite inconvenient in general. The neck harness has made it quite a lot easier so I do find myself doing two to three sets most days at home now and I've seen an improvement the last few weeks as well which has been nice. In short, just make sure you're actually training it. The neck doesn't really get hit that much by other exercises, even though a lot of people do think that uh, training the traps will make your neck look bigger. It probably will, but not by a massive amount. It is its own muscle and it needs its own training. So I would recommend doing some direct training, just like I've said in here, using the plate crunches with your neck or using a neck harness at home, whatever you find more convenient. I definitely recommend at least looking into this topic more and gaining more knowledge. I found Jeff Nippard's video on neck training really helpful, so I'll put a link to that in the description if you want further information on this. I've just wanted to make this video quite short and concise. Alright, that's it. That's the simple guide. Peace out, fam.